There's now an industry of writing books against Islam. Um, I don't really want to encourage this by even putting the idea out, but one of the quickest ways to become a best-selling author is just to apostate from Islam and write a horrible book about Muslims or Islam. And suddenly you're on all these talk shows and you become an expert on Islam. I mean, there's people now that are experts on Islam because they wrote a book and they know nothing about Islam. They've never studied. They, they don't have any background. Um, and, but this is the condition we're in. And taking people who have apostated from Islam, who've, who've, who've left Islam, and putting them forward as people to attack Islam is a very clever strategy. Because you can just let them do the dirty work. It's like having, you know, not, the Conservative Party loves, not, not, loves nothing better than African American conservatives. <laughs> right? Because traditionally the African American was a completely democratic uh, caucus. Now you, you're getting African American conservatives and the, and the Democratic Party really likes to put them forward. So, uh, and that's because, well, you see, I mean, the party, we're inclusive. We're, we're a party of the people, etc., etc. So it's very good to use people that create this pattern disruption. Oh, well, if, if these Muslims don't even like their religion, that must be a bad religion. You see, and that's what they do. So the most recent one is this poor Syrian lady uh, who's come out and attacked Islam.